All right, last week at the Apple launch of the new iPad, a lot of commentary and publicity was made about the fact that they were claiming the new uh, A5X processor was four times as powerful uh, to the Tegra 3. Now, we didn't really believe that, and we really wanted to see the results ourselves. So we've done some benchmarking using the GL benchmark. Uh, the same app is on both machines, and we've just done uh, the actual test itself, so we're gonna bring up the results for you now. So this is for um, how it handles 3D graphics. I'll bring up the result. Okay, so you can see here, uh, for the GL benchmark Egypt, we have 60 frames a second, and on the GL benchmark Pro, we've got 73 frames a second. So when it comes to 3D, um, here, uh, larger is better, effectively. So we're gonna show you the uh, results for the new iPad. So we just go to results. And the results pretty much speak uh, for themselves. The uh, GL Benchmark Egypt off screen is 140 frames a second compared to 60 frames a second for the Transformer Prime. And the GL Benchmark Pro off screen is 250 frames a second versus uh, the Transformer Prime's 73 frames a second. So you can see there that um, just uh, without going into digging deeper, uh, that right away, just using some simple benchmarking, the new iPad uh, appears to really be extremely strong, not only uh, to the industry, but also compared to the Tegra 3, which is uh, the benchmark uh, processor for Android tablets. Now what we're gonna do is look at uh, a couple of other uh, browser-based um, results. First one we're gonna do here um, is what's called browser mark. Now this tests the HTML rendering. Uh, you can see here that uh, the iPad's got 99,000 mark. Uh, in comparison to things like the Nexus, which is about 98,000, uh, higher is better when it comes to um, the browser mark for this. When we look at it on the Transformer Prime, it's actually better again than the iPad, so it's at 100,849, so that was the test that we ran there. So the Prime is better from a browser mark point of view uh, for JavaScript and um, HTML rendering. The other one that we ran was uh, JavaScript, uh, SunSpider. Now, in this case, a lower figure is better. Uh, so when we look at uh, the Transformer Prime here, we can see that the total was 2344 milliseconds. And when we look at the iPad, or the new iPad, it comes in at 1825 milliseconds. So again, uh, from a JavaScript uh, point of view, it looks like uh, that the new iPad also outperforms uh, the Transformer Prime. So there are three uh, benchmarks that can be done across um, both platforms. Uh, I'm sure we'll be digging into this a lot more and I'm sure this video will uh, uh, induce a few comments as well. So please feel free to comment um, and also uh, discuss it with you and we'll answer as many questions as we can. Until next time.